Perseverance has finally arrived in terrain dubbed Bright Angel, a target of scientific interest well before it landed on Mars. Speculation about what Perseverance might find there did not include the strange rocks it's now observed on this episode of Mars Guy. Perseverance has been on the move lately, cruising up the ancient river channel called Naretva Vallis toward the Bright Angel feature. The long drives show how much easier the terrain is to navigate than the nasty stuff it was on before. There are still some large rocks, like this one, visible from orbit, but they're literally few and far between. On the ground, that huge boulder serves as a sort of milestone of progress. Here's Mars Guy for scale. From this location, the rocks of Bright Angel are now in full view. This perspective really helps to show how they extend up the slope of the channel bank. It's not yet clear whether they were deposited that way or if they were exposed when the Naretva River cut down into them. One saw and 140 meters later, Perseverance arrived at the edge of Bright Angel. The very first views show some pretty strange rocks, including ones that look like they have a wood grain texture. But rest assured, they're not petrified wood. You're likely seeing mineral veins like these I sampled at the edge of the Atacama Desert that formed after mineral-rich water percolated through fractures in sandstone. On Mars, veins like these are a compelling signpost that water was here. Higher resolution views from Mascam Z show how erosion leads to some really bizarre shapes. The more resistant veins can form smooth, planar surfaces stuck onto the softer, presumably sandstone rock that hosts them, which erodes into some really gnarly textures. The gray rocks mixed into this scene also have some gnarly textures, clearly not like the smooth, rounded rocks you'd expect to find in a river channel, so it's not clear where they came from. This one made me wonder if the gray rocks were there first and the sandy sediments that formed the tan rocks were deposited later, but this is probably just a fortuitous placement of these two rocks. It's surprising, though, just how ragged some of the gray rocks are. You'd think that millions of years of wind erosion, think sandblasting, would have smoothed down the rough edges. In the far reaches of the Bright Angel terrain, where Perseverance first encountered it, there's an even more bizarre feature. The drifted sand here is a modern manifestation of sediments that billions of years ago instead formed the layered, now eroding rocks in this landscape. Among them is a formation emerging from, or maybe buried by, a large sand ripple. Its vertical spires are a startling contrast to the typically horizontal or angled features of Martian landscapes, making it look like a castle. But it's tiny, which I gauge from the span separating the two ripple crests visible in the orbital image. Its size and proximity to nearby rocks helps to explain how this tiny castle made of sand was formed. It likely started out as a chunk of horizontally layered sandstone that was undercut by erosion and flipped into place such that the layers were oriented vertically. After that, wind and sand and time conspired to erode the layers piece by piece until only vertical spires remain. I was reminded of the stunning and iconic sandstone buttes of Monument Valley in Arizona. Although they're obviously orders of magnitude larger, and they're formed from horizontally layered sandstone, they still demonstrate how erosion can pick apart rocks in ways that produce surprising features. But like all landforms such as these, Mars castles made of sand fall apart eventually 